Okay, so we come up on uh, the side of a highway where uh, cameras like kind of pointed up uh, up at the sky. It's a cold winter night. The snow is blowing hard. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and then suddenly a big truck cuts through and like because of the camera positioning, it's like the wheels are going right by us, spraying like snow uh, up at the camera and stuff. <sighs> and it's like this really big, loud sound. Now, just before uh, just, just before we cut to the inside of the truck, we hear the radio, we hear, uh, like, the, a radio broadcast, and then we cut to the, uh, truck from an inside perspective, and the radio is, like, going, and it's just, like, the middle of a broadcast, we just get a little tiny bit of a context clue, the radio is saying something like, <laughs> the radio is doing something like, once in a generation, polar vortex, temperatures as low as negative 40, it's important that it's negative 40 so that this can play to both an American and a Canadian audience, uh, just so everyone, you know, we don't have to do any localization there. So they're like, temperatures are, it'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, temperatures of negative 40 degrees. And then, you know, so we cut into the inside of the truck and um, see like a big gloved hand on the steering wheel as the radio is, is, is like right behind it and you can see it going and the windshield wipers are just whipping back and forth like there's so much snow and sleet and everything on this it's dark it's night the uh the road looks treacherous and terrible um we cut then to uh outside the truck a bit of a long shot away from it uh you can see that the that the that our so far unseen figure the truck driver is uh is like pulling something out of the back of the truck it's like way distant shot and then we next cut to um yeah again like i don't really want the truck driver to ever really be seen fully it's like we maybe get like a, a shot from behind you can see like his arm like patting this crate and he's and he's across from a man who we do see in full. It was like, it's just a super grizzled old trapper man. Just like a guy who looks like he's been uh, out in the Arctic. That's what this is. This is the Arctic. A guy who looks like he was out in the Arctic since like the 1800s, you know. Um, just like like icicles from his like mustache and beard. He's just like just a, a grizzled man. Uh, anyway, the truck driver like pats this crate, the the trapper immediately starts like throwing polar bear furs and stuff on top of this crate and um and we can see that uh he's that the crate is on the sled uh and there's like a big team of uh dogs there about to uh pull these as he's getting this uh as, as he's getting the shipment ready then we cut uh to the the dog sled driver is now driving this uh is now driving through the through the storm um just <laughs> whipping his uh his sled back and forth through this and we maybe get like a perspective shot of like the dogs ahead and, and it looks bad and we get a shot of the guy on the on the sled and it like and it's like swings like wildly to the side and the and the uh, and the sled, like, disconnects from the... Or, like, the guy's, like, thrown from the sled. And you hear the dogs... Woof, 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 just, like, you know, head into the distance. And you see them just, like, fade out. And the old grizzled man is, like, you know... Like, afraid and stuff. Um, yeah, he's thrown from it. So is the, the crate. And you see he immediately, like, starts crawling over to the crate. Throwing the pelts and stuff that got scattered around back on top of it like throwing everything and it's like cold and it's like still like the snow's coming down on top of them and he like grabs onto it and you know maybe because i'm really in my like excessive cinematography mindset right now maybe our last shot here is like uh from the perspective of the crate and we see like the pelt get thrown on top of it and the camera blacks uh out and then um after, like a brief pause here to indicate some time is passing uh i see the and it's like now uh, yeah we see like the some from the perspective of the camera snow get wiped away and now it's bright outside because it was night before so you know time has passed uh there's a, a search and rescue guy like wearing a big i don't know red coat or something uh there and we you know now we cut out to see that he's looking at this at this oh at this at that sledder guy who's like over who's like face down over top of the over the crate and he like picks pulls him up by the shoulder and like the guy i don't know if i'm getting a good angle of this guy goes up and he goes 
never frozen. And you finally see a shot at the top of the crate and we see it's got a big Wendy's branding on it. It was a Wendy's, it's a crate of Wendy's hamburgers and they were all trying their best to keep it from freezing in the storm. And the dogs are there, by the way. Like, the dogs didn't die. I. It's just, it's kind of important that we get that in there just so that nobody, like, gets too concerned about what happened to them. The dogs are around. Um, and then we, like, cut out to whatever Wendy's advertising, I don't know, a burger that's, like, has 12 pieces of bacon on it or whatever. And then, you know, after the little promotional bit runs, we see, like, a, a, a quick shot of the trapper, the first, the uh, search and rescue guy, and the dogs all eating a hamburger, uh, a, a around this, uh, or, you know, like, uh, outside together. Anyway, that's what I think is, uh, is it would be a good Wendy's ad. Um, eh, if you know any Wendy's executives, send this to them. I, I think there's something to it.